submitted Stacked division. five of his seven opponents he submitted. Wow. Stack division, right? With I a twin brother. He has a twin and brother also. Opponent fighting out of Korea Jiu Jitsu. He also Please won. Welcome to the mat. JJ Wilson. He also won Blue Belt Worlds yes. the, last year. Yes. And what's interesting with this matchup between Mateos and JJ Wilson is that they're one and one at Royal under this rule set. <laughs> this is a tiebreaker. Uh, so this is gonna be good. There's some history here. Yep. Oh boy. Shake hands. Both rocking the black kimonos. I know. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh. Now, you could call me kind of like a kimono connoisseur, but the 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 gi that that Mateus is rocking is 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 limited supply. <laughs> the one the one the one that JJ uses got oh 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 what a, th a throw oh, attempt oh, oh, oh. and he gets behind Mateus is holding the back of JJ Wilson here and we're, we're we're circling back oh. to the center of the mat. Let's see what he goes oh. here. What's his approach? He he's oh, hunting for the back. On the back. Oh, holding the seatbelt grip. Does he have the collar, or does he just have the grip? It looks like he, from what I saw, is he has the seatbelt. He's trying to bring it back down to the mat. You think JJ shakes it off, or you think Mateus jumps over to the other corner? I, I think it's a tall order for, for JJ. He looks pretty comfortable in this back position. What he's going to try to do is, is melt him to the mat, is collapse his legs. And what do you think Mateus does, stay on the hip? Mateus is trying to stay up. He's not trying oh, to go to the mat. Oh, there it is. Oh, he has the neck, though. JJ has the, ne has the neck. He's got both hooks in. Four points Ooh. are awarded, and they're flipped over. Now, wow. now Mateos is, is attacking the back of J.J. Wilson in the first minute of the wow. match. All of this is happening because of the format in the first minute. They have to go for takedowns, which they sets do. up a totally different scenario. It's not a, it, Guys are not double guard pulling. Wow. This is, in, this is insane. These guys are one-on-one, -on -one, so it's kind of like first points first one to draw blood is going I think is going to have the advantage and anytime you have that that third match between two people that are split now he just has him in the triangle and he's trying to get out but that's going to be tight yeah man i i certainly don't want to be in, in the figure four with Mateos on my back me either super long it'd be interesting to see if JJ Wilson finds the escape here he's he's battling 4 minutes left on the clock and Mateos Mateos is Figure four lock. It's a tough position to br to break out of. It's hard to get out of there. It's what do you think he's gonna? There. What do you think is gonna be his approach here, Bear? He's probably gonna try and shoot for that lapel, little by little. He's trying to set up that bow and arrow, right? Probably just control from that triangle for a while. But JJ's gonna be stuck there for a while because it's a really hard position to get out of. I think JJ do is doing a great job of trying to find his shoulders to the mat. But he also he's there. He's that's a nice clear. He just cleared. Yeats. He's he's maintaining a good uh, wrist control, which he's going to want to do to get his back to the mat. Oh, and Mateo just finds a joke, I think. Does he have the lapel? Does he have it? I can't really see from this angle. Looks like he's got it. He's going to open up and shoot for the pants if he has that good grip. Mate I'm telling you, J.J. Wilson is doing a great job of hand fighting, fighting tough. here. He's fighting tough. This is not an easy task. I mean, we're over a minute now. He's been fighting the back of Mateus, which... Like I said, not a place I want to be. You have fight Mateus training with Lucas Fletch all the time and Bouchesh and the guys at Check Mat. And then you have JJ sp splitting his time between MMA and Jiu Jitsu. So it's a, it's a really, really good matchup. It's even nice that it's, it's the third one. So I love that. I love that JJ is, a, is an MMA fighter and here he is competing in one of the toughest tournaments for the lower belts as in the Gi. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes really shows his appreciation for the art. He's doing a great job at fighting off this back attack. AJ, how hard is it to clear that hook when it's triangle and you're going against a long guy that has? Yeah, that's, it, I'd say that's the probably the biggest uh, advantage that Mateus has, Mateus has is, the, is, the, the, is length. the length. Really tough. But look, how's about JJ trying to get up and post up and release the hooks? I mean, that's, that's he's doing a phenomenal job. He's fighting tough. What he wants to do is he wants to maintain uh, two hands on one and try to escape his left shoulder to the mat. Or it pulling pulling Mateus' arm up and over his head and then gluing his shoulder blades to the mat so that Mateus, it's forcing Mateus to transition off this back because he's locking the figure four up. There's under under 120 seconds remaining. Ooh, oh, this might be a standing finish, Edwin Najmi oh. style. 
Can't see it from this angle, but he looks pretty tight on the head. But JJ's just staying in there, man. He's you have to have some serious core strength <laughs> to maintain that figure four lock. <sighs> trying to clear out of there. Mateus trying to go back in. And AJ, what do you think? You think it's uh you think AJ has a better chance of escaping the back from standing like that or staying on the back and trying to clear that hook? Trying to, I, I think he, the best bet he had would be doing is to put his left shoulder on the mat. And to do that, he needs to pop. Yeah, just like that. Pop the arm Ooh, over. Into the there guard. it is. Wow. And he escapes. What a phenomenal save. We have 60 seconds left. He's down by four. J.J. Wilson facing against Mateus Luna. For those of you just tuning in, this is the Royal by Joel Tudor. Some of the best blue to brown belts in the world. Under one minute. What are we competing for? What, what is the prize? You have prize money for blue, I mean, I'm sorry, for female, lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight. And depending on the weight that they're going at, I want to say it's 750 for females. You have a thousand for, you have a thousand for light. I want to say, I want to say 1500. JJ Wilson going for, Ooh. for an ankle lock. He bellied down there for a second. Oh. But Mateos comes up and, and is awarded two points. Now six seconds with 20 seconds left. It looks like Mateus is going to hold on to this victory. Save his Man. energy. Yep, he's got a he's got a, a busy day ahead of him. Yeah. But what a great match! Good fight. And you know what the difference is this year also? I'm not sure if you remember it. Is the brackets are smaller, so they don't have a 16 man to get through anymore. It's only eight. Three fights. Ah. Oh, almost on the back. What a phenomenal fight! Good fight. Really good fight. Your winner, Mateus Luna from Checkmat. 6-0 advances in the bracket. He'll be facing the winner of our next match, Julio Arantes versus Cole Franson. Ooh, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good fight. It, it just, it, it's the dynamic of them being forced to compete on their feet for the first 60 seconds. It totally transforms their approach from what is standard in, in all these other BJJ uh, tournaments. I think the, the fact that the... Your winner, the fact that they, points, Matthias Luna. The fact that they go and only have six minutes to work expedites the process Forces of the, the guard play. Yeah. It's like they have, they have more energy. They don't have to preserve it for a longer period of time. 